Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to share a demo on Linux Package Manager. So first we'll start into the theoretical concept of it and then deep dive into the demo part. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe so you never miss my next video. Now let's get started. Also many of you were requesting me to come up with the PPT to explain the concept. So see here I am. So what is Linux Package Manager? It is actually a method to install software in a Linux based operating system. If you are a Windows user, so you might be installing a .exe file and then double click on that file and it will install the particular software for you in Windows based operating system. But in our DevOps journey, we don't do those things from the GUI. We normally prefer to do it through the command line as we have to manage thousands of server and it is very difficult to install the software in each of the system via the GUI. So better way is to use the Linux package manager, but it provides feasibility to install it either from the GUI or from the command line. But the best way which we follow is from the command line. Okay. So what it actually does, it search, download, install the particular software, either if you want to remove or update that software applications, all those things are provided with the Linux package manager concept. For Linux, we have a list of sources where we can download free open source software packages. These source packages are called as repositories. So the first time when you install a Linux based operating system, it will by default come up with the default repositories and almost all the softwares will come in that default repositories. You just need to use the command related to the packages installation and it will install the required package for you. Package managers users will automatically download the appropriate package from a configured repository, install it and complete all the required configuration tasks. So I hope now you are clear with the concept of package manager. Now the next thing, what is package? So package is actually a zip file or the complete set of files where you have placed all the binary executable, all the configuration file or other software dependencies. Okay, common type of Linux packages include .deb for Debian based system, .rpm for a rel based or CentOS based machines and then .tgz. Okay, now common package manager in Linux is apt rpm yum. So in which Linux operating system we use apt or rpm or yum, that depends on which particular flavor of Linux we are using. If we are into the Ubuntu or Debian based system, then we need to use the APT package manager. If you are working on RHEL or you are working on CentOS machines, then you have to use RPM. Again, if you are using RHEL or CentOS based machine, then you have to use YUM. To install or update or configure new software, you are going to use YUM package manager. Okay. Now again comes the difference between the RHEL and CentOS. RHEL is actually Red Hat operating system. Okay, it is an enterprise Linux distribution system with come with the custom commercial support. And but CentOS is a free based and that you can easily launch in your AWS machines and uh, you can do your development task. It is good for the trial purpose. And RHEL is actually the enterprise grade Linux distribution system. Okay. Now next, we'll, we are going to start with the demo. Here I will show a demo on the Ubuntu based machine and I will try to install Python 2 on that machine. Again, I have shown video on how to configure EC2 machine on AWS cloud. Same way I will be doing today also, I will create a Ubuntu machine on AWS cloud. I will connect to it using SSH option and I will show you the demo, okay. Let's get back to my AWS cloud. Here I am. Here I'm going to launch one instance. Let's see, I'm giving it a name as package manager demo. This I have already showed, but just for trial, I'm doing it again. Browse more AMIs. I'm going to create a Ubuntu machine. So I will search for the image which is having Ubuntu. Okay. Search for it. And this is the first one that is free trial eligible also. I will select that image 
I will share the key pair as DevOps one. It is already there in my local machine, so I will use it. If you don't have this PEM key in your machine, you can create a new key pair and use it. Okay. And then I'm going to create one instance and finally click on launch instance. Okay. Now let's wait for the machine to come in the running state. As you can see now, the my machine is in running state. Click on the instance ID and then click on connect option. How to connect to this machine? Here is the command. Copy this command and run from the same path where you have the devops.pem key. Okay. I am running from the download folder as I had the PEM key over here only. Okay. Click enter. Click yes. And now you are into the Ubuntu machine which we have created on the AWS cloud. Currently the user is Ubuntu. But to perform any kind of installation, we need to log in as a root user. Or this Ubuntu user only need to have the root permissions. But I'm not sure if Ubuntu user is having root permission or not. So to be on the safe side, I will log in as a root user. So to log in as a root user, you need to run the command sudo su hyphen. Sudo su hyphen. Su is for the super user. Enter. Okay. Now you are logged in as a root user to this machine. I will clear the screen. Now let's get back to PPT. So the first command that is on that is one configuration file. This file contains the list of default sources for installing software on your system. If you are onto a Ubuntu machine, this is the list of the file where you have all the default repositories where all the packages are configured. Most of the packages are configured in these default repositories. Now to view the content of this file, copy this command with cat option. Cat is to display the information on a file. I have already showed it in a different video. Oh, these are the default repositories which by default comes up with the Ubuntu machine when it is installed for the first time. And these are the repositories which we have configured or which the machine have already pre-built configured for us. You don't need to do anything here. Okay. Now the next command. I want to install Python 2 actually in my machine. So first check if this Python 2 is available in my machine or not. Hyphen hyphen version. Okay. And see here, here it says the Python 2 is not installed in my machine. Okay. So the next command is I need to log in as a root user to install any software that I have already done. Okay. Now th the next two command that is update and upgrade. I already told that apt is the package manager that we are going to use with the Ubuntu machine. If you are on the CentOS or rel based machine, then you need to use yum package manager. Currently I have created a Ubuntu machine, so I will use the apt get. So here we have two commands, apt get update and apt get upgrade. Up Whenever you install a Linux based machine or maybe in our case Ubuntu based machine, so it will by default come with few of the software packages. So if you want to update those packages or upgrade those packages with the latest version of the software that is that has been launched by the community, then you need to install, then you need to run the command that is upgrade or update command. Okay. Apt get update. Hit enter. It is updating all the packages. First, it updated all the repositories. Means in the repo repositories, now you have the latest version of all the softwares. Now, if you want to upgrade it finally, then apt get upgrade. Now, it is asking you to continue whether you want to continue or not. In th that case, you need to hit Y. But if you don't want the system to ask you whether you want to install or not, then you have the hyphen Y option. Okay. For now, I will just click yes. And it is upgrading all the softwares that come by default with the Ubuntu based machine. Okay. Still installing. Wait for a while. So you see these many software by default comes up with the Ubuntu based machine. I clicked on OK and it is already done. Okay. 
Now the next thing, you want to install Python 2 in your machine. How to do that? apt-get install python2 I don't want to the system to ask me whether I want to continue or not so I will write hyphen y it is trying to install python2 okay and now if I check the version of uh, python2 then python2 hyphen hyphen version so now see you have the python 2 available in your machine similarly if you want to remove python 2 from your machine you need to write apt-get remove python 2 package name this way you can remove the software from your machine now comes the assignment time what you have to do is you have to create a rel or centos machine the same way how i created the ubuntu machine and there you need to install ansible and python 2 okay which image you need to select I can show you go to EC2 click on instances here click on launch instance you just need to change the image name okay let's see for the rel see here this machine you can create using this image and you can install ansible and python 2 using yum package manager if you face any issue while doing this Please do post on the comment section. I will be replying to you all. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope now you are clear with how to install, how to upgrade any software in the Linux based system using the command line tools. Kindly do subscribe to my channel. Till then stay healthy. Bye bye.